I feel like there's always that one high school that stands out better than the rest of them. And, you know, I think Golden Park is like the best high school ever. My name is Alicia Ransom. My name is Jakey Christopher. My name is Mustafa Nur. My name is Brian Bentley. My name is Matthew Pena, and I go to Golden Parks High School, and I'm in transition. Well, I kind of got forced into the class, you know, and then, yeah, basically the hands-on, like, that's what kept me in there, you know. I was put in the class, and I didn't know what it was until I started. I was actually put in the project. I didn't really have a choice <laughs> but to do it. It's fun, though. I'm glad I did it. It was just fate. I got put into the class by fate, and it was so cool I decided to stay in there. The Transitions Project is a partnership with the Minnesota Historical Society. The project has been here for five years, and we work on documenting the history of the avenue with the changes with the light rail construction. So we're documenting um, before, during, and after construction, how business owners, homeowners, and any stakeholder in the avenue feels about the project. A uh, very non-biased approach with just information about how it's affecting them, their commute, or their business. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, we do social studies and English work. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we do transitions work. Um, and I do interviews. Some people do interviews, some people take photos. Everybody has a job. What I'd like to see from them is, is for them to be able to, to take what they've learned in my class and have that influence their questions, their choices of who to interview, um, the way they look at these interviews, and the way they look at sort of public policy. Contacting people, business owners, for a type of project like this, um, speaking skills, audio skills, uh, Final Cut Pro, many of them are using. So I hope that they can put that on their resume and speak to those things when they're interviewing for jobs or getting into programs at the colleges that they choose. I really just worked on interview questions for the project and I just started interviewing probably a few weeks ago. Yeah, I took pictures like going all down university back and forth. And then when we were downtown St. Paul, I took some photos and stuff. Uh, the first thing I did was write interview questions, you know, trying to see what kind of questions I could ask that would be okay or be perfect, you know. I was nervous because, you know, it was my first time doing it. Yeah, basically I just got right into class and I didn't know what I was doing or whatever, but he said I had I could get the opportunity to meet the mayor and interview him and stuff, so I just went at that. I've been doing a lot of stuff and I've been meeting a lot of new people since this class. So I'm really grateful, like the mayor knows my name. It's kinda weird. I went to see Obama, that was like shocking, so <laughs> like I didn't think I'd be able to do that either. I'd never see myself seeing like Obama in person, so I mean, he was kinda talking about the university project too and I just feel like I can help to the, like, with the community myself. Attendance is better in this class than it is in most other classes at Gordon Parks. Um, kids are earning credits at a higher rate in our class compared to some other classes. And I think that's because students, if they feel that what they're doing is relevant and real, they're more likely to to, to to sort of jump in head first. And it's been awesome to see how much they come out of their shell, how much they become invested in their community. Just like being involved in the community and giving the people that don't have a voice a voice, I thought that was pretty cool. I've been connected a lot with the community. Like ev just what was this, a week ago, I went to the planning of the final, like the grand opening of the light rail, like the meeting up on it and I didn't know that they allowed like teenagers from different schools to go there and we were like only allowed three people to go. I was one of them. Um, it has affected me a lot, you know. I've never really thought about, you know, doing anything such and such with the media until 
I got into the class and it really kind of hit me like, yeah, this is kind of like my field and I enjoy doing what I do best. I like being social and, you know, talking to people, writing interview questions, you know. Transition in the media has affected my life by um, just being more confident that, like, I could do something. It's not just, you know, you get a worksheet, you do all the questions because that's easy, but it's boring. I like more hands-on stuff, so this class was, it definitely helped me be more hands-on and want to come to school more and stuff like that and finish out school and look at the future more and stuff like that. Everybody has a purpose, you just gotta look for it.